Dr. Terry and Dr. Joyce Lee. May 18th, 2024, as mayor of Washington, D.C., I want to extend our sincere gratitude to Dr. Terry and Dr. Joyce Lee, founders of the 26th Annual White House Prayer for our nation. Oh, one day 
But as long as we stay focused on you, let you use us, Lord, till you use us. We know where we're going to be. We know what's going to happen. All we have to do is have faith and believe. Put the armor of God on our journey. Continue to love us as we go around the world. I love being here, Lord, because when you bring us together, you said, when two or more gathered in your name, that show will be high. And we know you're here. The Holy Spirit is here. Lord, we love you. We can't get enough of you. Lord, we love you. We honor you. Forgive us for our sins. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Sharna Lee Reed and I am at the 26th anniversary of the White House prior. I'm having a blast. The word is refreshing. I feel fueled and I'm ready to go in the, um, the world um, to preach the good news. It feels refreshing. It feels like fire, literally fire stirring, passionate. I mean every artist, every minister that went up there to pray and to bring a word. You could tell that this is something that they're passionate about. And um, I felt that whatever they had, it was um, thrown upon me, and I feel revived. That same passion is bursting out of me. So it's a phenomenal experience. Hello, my name is Michael Lynch. I'm from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And I came out here with my mom. She really dragged us out here at uh, 10 p.m. last night saying, oh, we're going to be uh, praying with some prayer warriors for the country. I'm like, Mom, we can pray for the country at home. But, you know, after I come out here and see all these people, see all these different uh, cultures that I miss, because I'm, I'm from Jamaican personally and Trinidadian, just seeing all my Caribbean brothers and sisters here and African brothers and sisters and African kings here and all, it has really have been fulfilling and just being around other believers in God. It's like, it's, it's reinstalled my faith because I've been, I've been slipping. I can't say that much, but it's reinstated my faith a little bit more. All right, I'm Troy Smith. I'm a deputy chief in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, about three years ago, 
I met Reverend Lee and he told me about this White House prayer and, and he invited me to Washington DC and I came out and it was just like this, it was raining and we stood out there in the ellipse and we prayed. And then the next year it was so powerful that every year I, I feel blessed and honored to be invited back. And uh, I didn't know if I was gonna make it, but I prayed about it. And you know how the evil one tried to stop you. But this morning I was able to find a flight here even though I have to be back by tonight at 7.30, so I'm getting ready to leave from here, but I couldn't miss this. And as soon as I got here, I got filled up. You hear the praying and the singing, and my goodness, the Holy Spirit, you know, started invoking this, this building, and next thing you know, man, my uh, tears were running down my face. And I knew that the Lord was here, and that he, He's not gonna let rain stop us. The evil one tried to, try to deter us, try to make us do something different, but that's why I come here because I know it's so powerful. Everybody here, we, you know, we're walking by faith and you can't help but get the Holy Spirit. If you're not feeling it, I don't know what's wrong with you. In life, there are forces that's always trying to deter you. They're trying to distract you. They're trying to get you to do the opposite of what you know is right, but that's where faith comes in. You walk by faith, not by sight. The Lord said, you put it in my hands, I'll take care of it for you. All you have to do is have faith and believe. And once you do that, he'll move mountains. You know, Reverend Lee was talking about finding the money. All he did was pray and he started doing what the Lord asked him to do. And all of a sudden it all just started coming. The same thing with me. I was, I was like, man, Lord, I have faith. I know that it's, it's a reason why the evil one don't want me to be up here in DC. And I prayed about it. And next thing I know, there's a flight from San Antonio, direct flight to Baltimore. I get to Baltimore, the people told me they don't have any cars and all of a sudden the car became available. I get over to the Ellipse and nobody's there and I call and Reverend Lee said, we're at this place and next thing you know I get a text message to come over here. I get here, I walk in the door and all I hear is singing, praise, and I'm getting excited. You know, it's all because you have faith. If you don't have faith, you, you, you don't know what's going on, you're not doing the right thing, you're not believing. You put it in the Lord's hands, he's going to handle it. It may not be when you want it, but it's going to be right on time. It's a beautiful, um, it's one of those events that you, that we take for granted, but it is one of the most important of events that we can have. Our country's in, in, in trouble. Our, our city's in trouble. Our country's in trouble. The world is in trouble. Many people say that we have never been closer to World War III than we are right now because of the wars that are sprinkled throughout the world. And that is why this is vital. And that's why um, much honor and respect has to be given to, um, to Bishop Terry Lee, Dr. Terry Lee, Pastor Terry Lee. What he is doing is heavenly. Um, is divine and you can tell that is God directed and God led and um, the, the body of people he has around him is just um, invaluable. Hi everybody, I am Alexis Brown, Pastor Alexis Brown. I pastor the Ariel Family Church of Love. Um, you know, today was really a blessing. I shared the word today on a man to stand in the gap. You know, God is really calling us to be a prayerful people. Uh, Jamaica has just a unique mark in the world, not just for our sports, not just for our food, not just for our culture. But we are a nation that, you know, whenever we say our national anthem, it's actually a prayer unto God. And so the Eternal Father, you know, is the same Father that we pray to in our, our Father. And, you know, I'm really grateful for what God is doing. I give God thanks for... Reverend Dr. Terry Lee and his wife, Pastor Dr. Joyce Lee, they have just really embodied the spirit of humility, a truly humble couple that have not limited God. And they have just run with the vision, run with the, the mantle that God has given them. And we are seeing the changes. And we know that, you know, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. That when the righteous cries unto the Lord, he hears. And so we are just really excited. We know that greater is coming. We know that God has even more things in store for us. And I'm just encouraging us to not grow weary in well-doing. Hi, my name is Tamisha Henry, and I'm from Power of Faith Ministries in Brooklyn. And um, the experience was amazing. My first time, and I'll definitely be back next year.
I would say for me, the reason why I came today was because I have a passion for children, youth. I work um, with kids and I just wanted to come and pray for my community and just, that's it, just pray and pray for my community. Hey, I'm Reverend David Peterson. I'm from uh, Stonebridge, Northwest London. Prayer is so important and necessary right now, um, especially with the war in Ukraine, what's happening with Russia, with Gaza. Uh, we need to be very fervent in prayer, knowing that these are signs of the times, signs that Jesus is coming back. So we need to be in a position of prayer, repentance, consecration, and connection and relationship with Jesus Christ through prayer, with the Holy Spirit connected to our Heavenly Father, who we give all the praise, all the glory, all the, all the adoration, all the worship, all the exaltation to, because prayer is the only thing that can save us from wars to come and rumors of war. What's up to my mom? God bless her. What's up to the wife as well and the kids? And pray that God will bless them and strengthen them in Jesus' name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, participants, best of the best, first New York City and State vocal competition, Crystal Voice. Think of all the generations and say we will make it a better place for our children, for our children's children, so we'll be known. It's a better world for them.
My name is Malika Cobb. I'm from Bowie, Maryland, and I wanted to volunteer to be more a part of the community and get a prayer and to um, be here with everyone. And I'm grateful for everyone uh, for you guys to have me. Um, well, I asked my neighbor if she had any volunteering work, and she said yes. And also, I needed a prayer for myself. You know, I needed to get closer with God, and I felt like this helped. What's up to my mom, my dad? What's up to my brothers? And what's up to Miss Lizda? <laughs> Hey, I'm David Longoria. You probably know me from my trumpet playing, uh, but I'm here from uh, Los Angeles, California. I'm out here for the second time to share some uh, music with our wonderful audience. They're just incredible people here uh, in the Washington, D.C. area. We're here for the 26th annual uh, Day of Prayer for Our Nation for, for the White House. And, and it's such a blessing to be here with such beautiful and spirit-filled people. Uh, I'm having a great time, and, I, and I'm hoping for, uh, to share some music and share some revival with all of our folks back here. When I was a kid, I uh, grew up poor on a little farm in Washington State, and uh, the only people that would give me free trumpet lessons were the Salvation Army, and in order to get the free trumpet lessons, I had to uh, play the trumpet in their church. So I found, uh, my mom brought me to the church, and uh, I got to know Jesus very well at a very young age. And, and it taught me the importance of uh, all the glory to God from what we do. And, and music is no exception. Uh, I, I believe that God owns music, and, and I want to share it with people. And if they can be touched by my music, it's more important that they're touched by the Spirit of God because of the music. And if you go back to the walls of Jericho, this is what did it. So, uh, you know, over the years, I've gotten to know a lot of great trumpet players. And uh, one of my big inspirations was Louis Armstrong. And he also grew up playing in the church. So if there's ways that we can use this for the glory of God, that's what I'm all about. Uh, I got to spend a lot of time with uh, Pastor Andre Crouch, who actually taught me how to write music. So I wrote a, wrote a lot of songs, and uh, today I'm performing a song that I wrote called We Are One, which brings together 750 recording artists, all the way from uh, the Coasters, Drifters, Platters, Temptations, all those groups from the 50s all the way to now. And uh, 750 of them all sang with me on this song. So today, I'll be enjoying uh, performing the same song with a bunch of local people, all kinds of people from all over the country who are going to join me on We Are One. And if you haven't heard it yet, it's on YouTube and it's, it's kind of everywhere. Uh, but David Longoria, We Are One. And I hope that you enjoy it and I hope it touches you because it's all about bringing people together and supporting each other and lifting up God by doing that. You know, Louis Armstrong was called the ambassador of jazz because of his trumpet. And uh, my trumpet came from the 1950s, uh, and it's, it's called an ambassador. That's the name of the trumpet. And uh, I, I like to think that in a lot of ways that I, I can be an ambassador uh, to the world, sharing uh, both jazz and the love of Jesus. So however I can do that and touch people's lives, that's what I'm all about. I believe God put it on my heart to uh, speak about um, the, the needs of our country this year because this day of prayer for our nation could never be more important. Uh, during my lifetime, I've never seen uh, the world to be as divided as it is and uh, in as much turmoil. We're on the brink of wars all over the world and, and it doesn't need to be that way, but you know, we as people can't always fix all that. And sometimes we look to our government, we look to other politicians to fix it and it's not gonna happen like that. Um, what's going to happen, though, is that we're going to pray today, on this day of prayer, we're lifting up America and all, all of the world to stand together, lift each other up, and pray for revival. Because without the revival, this is not going to work. The only thing that's going to fix America and fix the world 
is the love of God and God's putting his hand on this country again. And I pray for that today. I'm having a lot of people all over the country praying today. And that's our goal is to have revival in America. Let's lift that spirit up. Let's lift the churches. Let's create revival in the churches, in the schools, all over our beautiful country. And that, that's how I believe America has possibilities. I want to say what's up to my family, Letitia, Lucas, uh, Lola, my dog, uh, and everybody out in California who's rooting for us, who couldn't be here with us, but up to all the people around the world who share the song We Are One and who lift up each other uh, in this crazy political climate, but we're lifting each other up and standing together. Even if we think differently about ideologies or whatever, we vote for different people, whatever it is, uh, the Spirit of God is in us, and that's way more important than all the things that we come up with. We bring sacrifice of praise into the heart. Hello, my name is Evangelist Whitney Lynn, and I am a singer-songwriter as well as a producer and an evangelist. And I am here with David Longoria to sing and also minister and give a word and preach the gospel of Jesus Christ because not everybody in church is saved. So come on, we got we to gotta get the ones that don't know Jesus. The vibes like today, I just feel revival, like David Longoria said earlier, is the theme. That is the theme for today because you know what? There's a shaking coming to America. There's a shaking coming, and if you're not right with the Lord, you got to get right right now because he's coming back, and he's coming back soon. And too many people are playing church. They're, they're being lukewarm. You know, they're living in sin. They're smoking weed, having sex before marriage. They're getting drunk, but yet they're calling themselves a Christian, and that's too many in the church today. And so I'm here to shake up and bring revival in the church and breathe Dead, breathe into dead bones and make them alive today. Uh, my name is um, Cartin Wilson Oba Lecot. I am uh, a politician, a polyglot, a missionary worker from Africa all the way to my place of birth, Haiti. I'm an American citizen. However, I was born in Haiti for a specific reason. I'm a great-granddaughter of an ex-good president of Haiti, which is Senatrice Le Comte. I'm here in D.C. for a simple reason, because it's a prayer organization. By the symbolic way, Haiti, our flag day, is in May the 18th, 1804. I know it's for the nation, However, I'm standing in the gap for my place of birth. May America understand that I grew up in this country, but it's about time that the U.S. really organize for Haiti to be free, to help build Haiti. I've served in the government, I've worked, I made Barack Obama become president, I helped Joe Biden, I've worked with Clintons, I mobilize, I have gentrification in Little Haiti, I'm a leader, but I'm asking that other people stand in the gap and help build Haiti. That's my passion. I've done missionary work all the way to West Africa, from Ghana to Nigeria. I've been to Dominican Republic, helping my Haitian people. I've been back home nine weeks ago to help Haiti. So I'm thinking in advance, the United Nations, to please get in touch with me I have an organization that will build Haiti. China is involved, and I'm asking the United Nations today, on the symbolic moment, to please let's better Haitian. 
break that yoke of curses. Haiti doesn't have a problem with poverty. Haiti has a problem spiritually. I'm proud to say that I am a great family that has everything in Haiti. In fact, in the U.S., I'm poor. But in my country, I'm not. So I thank you in advance. May God continue to bless America. America is on the only giving country I travel the world. But now, Americans have a heart. United Nation, do what is right. Uh, my name is Patricia Glashen. Um, I reside currently, temporarily, in, in Maryland. And my reason for coming, definitely, our nation needs um, prayer because we're going through so much. We've seen so many changes, so many things that we haven't seen before after being in this country for so many years. And the only thing that can change our, our make some kind of change for us that, that we need is prayer. We know that the Bible has to fulfill and I, we do know that we know the, hawk, the war of Armageddon, but we still got to pray. Because at any time with everything that's going on, like you said, anything, it can erupt into, some, into you know, a world war all over the world. So we definitely have to pray because if we call on the Lord, he said, if you seek me, you will find, you will find me. So if we seek him, and he said, well, there's one or two or three gathered, I'll be there. And with all of us here today, almost definitely our prayers, you know, have been heard. Hello, my name is Daryl Sims. I am the, uh, I call myself the steward, not the owner of Sims Media Group, DBA Sims Publishing Group, website www.simspublishinggroup.com. I am here at the 26th annual White House Prayer Breakfast, and uh, we're praying for the nation down here. I'm here as a vendor selling books here, and you can see some of my titles here. I got about 50 books, but right here I only brought about 10 titles out with me. It's still important to read books because a lot of information that you have that's public sources, they're getting it from somewhere, but not necessarily the correct source. So you can go to Google and put in anything. You can say, what's the best this, what's the best that. That's someone else's opinion. It's no different than trying to exegete a text for the Bible. That's all you're going to do is read commentaries. They're just giving you a comment. The anointing has to come directly from God to you. That's what, a, uh, well, some call it revelation. I call it illumination. But Google is good. Nevertheless, nothing like the real thing and talk to the actual person. And books are coming back in style. I don't mind the digital books. I don't mind the audio books. But it's something about when you put your hand to that paper, and now you're learning more than just what you're reading. You're also learning by the feel, and the spirit has a chance to work with you a little bit more when you have something tangible to read. Today I brought out my Bible, my manhood. Uh, so it's our latest book out. Freddie Haynes did the forward to it. And it, I call them conversational compositions. They're not sermons. They're not strictly Bible studies. It's a combination. So my Bible, my manhood. Two weeks ago, we came out with a book called Faith Fighters, uh, where Cindy Trim, excuse me, Dr. Cindy Trim did the forward. And same thing for women. So we have a few titles that these sisters can say it, volume one and volume two. But if you get a chance, go to the website. You want to look at Adam Come Home, Liberating the Minds of Black Men, which I wrote, and also the soul of manhood as well. Hi, everyone. I'm Minister Nathan from the New Jerusalem Church of God, where Bishop A.G. Blackwood is the pastor in Queens, New York. And we had an awesome time of praise and prayer at the White House prayer here. Even though it rained, it's all right, because God is the sunshine in our lives. I had an excellent time. And thank you, Dr. P Terry Lee, for all your vision and we followed suit. Greetings, my name is Ambassador Dr. Seema Karatnaya. I am the United Nations Ambassador of Sustainability and Human Rights and I am also the G100 Chair for Diplomacy and Negotiations in the United States of America. I have brought in children who are the best of the best from the first New York City and State Vocal Kids Competition Crystal Voice. Uh, we, we were here at the National White House prayer for our nation and uh, even though we expected the kids to perform individually, uh, the kids did get to perform a joint song, Heal the World by Michael Jackson, to promote unity, peace and universality and inclusivity. I wish everyone peace, health and uh, patience. Thank you so very much.
My name is Tatiana de Siena. I am a pastoring with my husband in the New York Flashing uh, Free Gospel uh, Assemblies of God Church. I sang uh, Because of Who You Are by Martha Manuzzi. It was amazing. It was great anointing. People was reacting on, on the movement of Holy Spirit tremendously amazing. Hi, I'm Pastor Jody McCullough. I am the campus pastor of the Cool Church Fountain Campus in Miami Gardens. Now, this is my first year, and it was amazing. And we have a few members, um, a few persons from South Florida. I'll have her give her name. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeanette Brooks-George from Fort Lauderdale. And? I'm Daryl Nathan Darling from Fort Lauderdale. And you already had Minister uh, Nathan yes, before. Minister yes, Minister Nathan from Queens, New York. Yes. <laughs> right. So today, I think today was an amazing day in the sense that we were able to gather and pray mm -hmm. and worship and pray yes. and worship yes. and pray yes. and worship. And hearts were encouraged. Persons are leaving with whatever little word they got that, you know, God still answered prayers and it is still good for the body of Christ to come together and pray. Very good experience. Um, you know, we had to pivot and, yes. you know, we, we made the best changes as possible. Yes, it was a wonderful experience. It was wonderful to be around other Christians and fellowship and, and feel the spirit of the Lord move through the room and move through people. What's up, cool church? Come on here, Fountain Campus and Miramar High. What's up, Pastor Terrence and Pastor Joanne? What's up? What's up, Ahab, Apostle Jennifer LeClaire, and St. Thomas University. What's up? What's up, New York, Queens, New Jerusalem, Church of God Apostolic, where Bishop A.G. is the pastor, Bishop Blackwood. So our team, we are BTTM. We are a community organization from out of Brooklyn. We have two locations. We have one in Brownsville and one in, in uh, East Flatbush. We do violence prevention work and we offer a lot of various uh, resources to the community. We came out here today to support Pastor Terry. Uh, so we out here as, as, as the Brooklyn team all the way out here in Washington, just to let, let, let y'all know that we're, we're not just about our community, we're, all, we're about all the communities that's going through the struggles that we uh, uh, experience in our own communities. I know today, you know, we scheduled to be on the ellipse of the White House, right? But listen, God's house, the White House is still a house, right? That's right. That's right. And we are still in the house. But um, due to the rain, we have to make a, a, a shift, right? As we can see that it's still raining on the outside, but it's sunny on the outside. And just to have jump, you know, out here, that means that we're not only just concerned about the violence, you know, and, and, and being a part of the solution in Brooklyn, but we are, we are here from Pennsylvania Avenue in Brooklyn, New York, right? To Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. We're here, amen, from New York, Avenue in Brooklyn to New York Avenue in Washington DC and we are not going to stop all right so John and all the partners out there that doing cure violence work I know um, I can't call everybody name the God squad the elite learners and all everybody out there is Flatbush Village in Brooklyn New York trust me we are all doing it together and that is what we are saying here from the nation's capital one love one heart
that's my problem every time we need The strength to defend us will be there when we need We are one, we are one, we are one My name is Michael Lynch. I'm from uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and I came out here with my mom. She really dragged us out here at uh, 10 p.m. last night saying, oh, we're going to be uh, praying with some prayer warriors for the country. I'm like, Mom, we can pray for the country at home. But, you know, after I come out here and see all these people, see all these different uh, cultures that I miss because I'm, I'm from Jamaican personally and Trinidadian, just seeing all my Caribbean brothers and sisters here and African brothers and sisters and African kings here and all, it has really have been fulfilling and just being around other believers in God. It's like, it's... It's reinstored my faith because I've been I've been slipping. I can't say that much, but it's reinstated my faith a little bit more. I'm Lee Whitaker, and David Longoria asked me to appear with him today. I have a new song out called "The Winds of Pentecost," which was released a couple of days ago. And Pentecost Sunday is tomorrow, uh, a few thousand years ago, <laughs> when Jesus went to heaven. He left, and he told the disciples that he was going to leave a part of him here and that was the Holy Spirit so we have the Holy Spirit here tonight and we had it back when Jesus ascended into heaven and he's yeah and uh, we have that with us constantly the Holy Spirit so that's the meaning of the of Pentecost and uh, yeah we yeah, and we're filled with the Holy Spirit tonight, especially. My God's prayer has always been something to steer to my heart. I'm Evangelist Darlene Middleton from Action Chapel, Virginia. I've known uh, Reverend Terry since about 2010, so uh, he's dear to my heart. This initiative that he has put forth by the grace of God has touched many lives and is doing much, much in the land of uh, the United States of America. I, I'm so thankful to have been here today. It's always awesome, and God always shows up no matter what. Uh, we may th thought the rain was prohibiting us. Us, distracting us, but God came through today, and He came through mightily. And I bless the Lord for our Reverend Terry and Dr. Joyce. Hi, my name is Kristen Williams. Even it was really good, it was really refreshing. So good to be able to fellowship with the believers all over the world, come in unity, in prayer, and the power of God was here. It was good to give God thanks for the words that were given through the vessels of God. So I really enjoy it. Hallelujah. Hope to see it next year and to come back next year. Minister Monique Brown, I'm from Fort Lauderdale, from Ariel Family Church of Love. The day was absolutely wonderful. It was just such, you could feel the anointing, the presence of the Lord here as we had several intercessors gather to just come and just pray and to worship. And it was really, truly a wonderful day. We had to reposition the day, but... The Holy Spirit was present and it was truly a wonderful day. We had several persons coming and just praying, interceding, and we just give God thanks for what was done today. My name is Maxime Matty and uh, I was invited to the event and it was a powerful event. I felt it. I could feel the Holy Ghost and uh, I enjoyed it and will come again. I was on my feet. I was crying. I was worshipping. I forgot the song, but you know... The word of the song, it resonated in my heart and tears just keep. I'm a crier, but away from that, I couldn't, I feel like I was in church, Sunday church, Sunday service. Yeah, it was good. My name is Pastor Roosevelt. I come in from Boston and I'm with uh, Kati. And uh, that uh, event made me thinking the love we have and we can share it with, with the world because that's what the people want in life. That's what Jesus showing us to show love with all the world because Jesus is the healer. Jesus is everything. So if people really, really want to live peace, as Jesus says to the disciple, I bring you peace and the peace 
he stay with you. So that's the way we're supposed to have a life, a world, when they're seeing the love Jesus sharing with the cross. I'm Pastor Kevin Layla from the Power of Faith Ministries, Brooklyn Assembly. We're at 3619 Church Avenue in Brooklyn. And we have been affiliated with the Byways and Hedges, Youth for Christ Ministries, Bishop Dr. Terry Lee and his wife, Pastor Joyce Lee, and the White House Prayer Team. And this is our 26th year, not 26 years for me, unfortunately, but 26 years since the initiative has been launched. And it is a real blessing to be a part of this ministry and to be affiliated with this great movement. We did say uh, earlier on in our prayer that the Lord instructed us to pray for leaders, to pray for kings, to pray for rulers, pray for those in authority. And we said America is uh, an influencer all over the world. And so what's happening in the world, uh, wars and rumors of wars, we see what's happening in Ukraine, as you pointed out, in, 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 in the Middle East, in Gaza, with uh, Israel and, and Palestine. And we're saying America is in the midst of that, uh, not geographically, but certainly in terms of the influence and impact. And we have to pray because these things have a uh, significant uh, impact uh, on the rest of the world. We're seeing whatever happens there, America still remains uh, uh, in a pivotal position to influence the world and we can do so not only through our military power but through prayer. The Christians in America, we ought to recognize and to be reminded of the, what God has called us to do and so we will continue to pray not just for America but for the world and for God to use us as his ambassadors, as his arms extended, and we pray for the entire world. So because we know that God indeed can change things, has been changed and will continue to change the trajectory of, of, of our violence, injustice, wars. I'm Mr. Maurice Walk from Columbus, Ohio here, accompanying Dr. Christian, Johannes Christian, uh, face of forgiveness. Um, we've, we came here to support we came here to pray for the nation because the nation is in dire need of prayer. And we, are, we took it as an honor to come here and support Dr. Lee and Mrs. Lee in this effort to stop the violence, bring about peace, um, and, and to spread love like God does. Uh, truly, it's been an honor to be here, to be able to, to pray for the uh, nation, to pray for our president, and to really support Dr. Uh, Lee in this effort for the 26th year of uh, prayer for the White House. I really, really have uh, made this an effort of prayer. Uh, in fact, uh, last year I walked from Columbus, Ohio to Washington, D.C. for this same effort uh, to create forgiveness and reconciliation in our country. Truly, it's, we're in dire straits to bring peace and unity. Uh, we're praying over continuously for those that are being held in hostage in the Middle East. Uh, we, we're praying that we as a church will stand up and allow the world to see the Christ in us, the unity that he so desires to bring among his people. I think people are more aware than, than we would want to believe. I think that people can look and see the devastation that's taking place in our country with gun violence, in our country with the, even the thought of having a dictatorship. I think people are becoming more and more aware aware of those things and see the need for the church to bring about healing. I think one of the things we're going to see as, uh, as we continue to move a little bit away from um, the, the, the crisis that we've had medically, that, that we're going to see the church taking a turn and people coming back to it as they see the power of God moving in the midst of his people. The White House prayer was great this year. You know, we thank everybody for coming. It was a challenge, but you know, God always wins, you know, and um, as much as people, this year we, we, um, we anticipated um, the most we've ever had in years. If we had gotten on the lawn, the numbers had shown that we would have been in the thousands, maybe like 1,500 people. And we could see that here because this, this sanctuary had 300 people. and Well, it holds 300 people, but it, we had, and we had overflow. You know, buses, this year we had buses from um, uh, South Carolina, New York City, um, Connecticut. Some people even turned around because it was it was a challenge getting here. Uh, we also had people from London, um, from United Ki uh, United Kingdom. We had people from uh, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Jamaica. People flew in this year, so to God be the glory. You know, the rain fell, but 
you know, God always wins. Only is one of the few people that I can say, you know, I, I'm a graphic designer. I work with, with maybe hundreds of churches. But Reverend Lee's mission to me, is it stands out because he's a pastor. He cares about people. He cares about everybody, not just church people. He's in the street. He's a street pastor. He, he ministers to people. He, he'll get out of his bed. He'll, he'll go into violence, whatever it takes, you know, to convince people that peace and love wins, you know. And that's why I support Reverend Lee. I want to say what's up to Dr. Lee and Pastor Joyce Lee, the Lee family. I want to say thank you to um, the Peebles family for, you know, freely, freely affording us this, the use of this sanctuary. They afforded us the use. They afforded us the use of all the instruments. They asked us what we needed. All oh, today was so amazing. We thank God for the rain and we thank him for the sunshine. If it wasn't for the rain, we would not be in this location. So, the Lord, he knows what to do. And if we was on the lawn today, everybody would be running all over the place. Yes. But he just keep us in one place. Amen. So, so it was a power pack day. Glory to God. We were like on the day of Pentecost. Yes. We were all in the upper room. Yes. Amen. In one accord. Amen. Amen. And the Holy Spirit move. And then the Lord is going to do exactly what he promised that he's going to do he's going to heal our land yes. amen and our president we want our president to know that we love them amen and if you love the president you must love the resident <laughs> and if you pray for the resident you must pray for the president amen. <laughs>